will report you to the Federal Tradesman. Oh no, the Ombudsman is coming for you. <laughs> the Ombudsman's coming to get you. Hello, friends. Trace amounts of science. The hot dog man has returned to my personal separate r slash red x reads. And uh, this post is, well, it's a lot ramblier than the rest of them. There are no paragraph breaks. It's just a giant wall of text, probably because he knows that I hate giant walls of text. <laughs> I'm not going to bother breaking it into paragraphs. I'll read it as written. Let myself get frustrated from the whispers around the discord. I mean... It sounds like it's the most unhinged one yet, but I suppose we shall see, so let's dive into it, shall we? Stop it now, Brad! This is harassment! I, I'm not even do I'm just making a- it's a video! <laughs> I've not harassed you. Some might say it's the other way around. Some might call it a pot and kettle situation, but at least admit your fault in it, please. Please. Brad, good to see you're listening. Mostly doing neckbeard content now, just like I told you. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't because of you, but I am glad that you are glad to see it return. I just got tired of the, the drama and the bullshit. Like, the whole channel was started because I just wanted to do my own thing, so I think I'm going to go back to doing my own thing. And much like most interests, hobbies, projects, yeah, it, it shifts around sometimes. I'm just feeling a little more neckbeardy this month. <laughs> See, you can't turn down my money. I could. Trust me, I can. <laughs> I don't want to, though. Uh, I'm reading the posts. I'm not too proud to say no to an extra 50 bucks for essentially doing what I would do anyways. Uh, too late. I still don't have my phone call. Give me my phone call, Brad. <laughs> Give me my damn phone call. You still haven't scheduled it. I, I set up this whole nice Calendly thing so $50 patrons could go and schedule their appointments and get on a phone call with me and nobody's used it. Nobody's used it. <laughs> it's been like a month or two, Calendly's like, do you want to renew? I'm like, there's, there's no point. Even as I try and spoon feed you your phone call, you slap my hand away. You're like, no, I'd rather just keep complaining. I said in the last post, I'm getting sick and tired of playing this game with you, and <laughs> that feeling is not abated. You think you can ignore me, but you cannot. I donated to your Patreon. Give me my phone call. It is my God-promised right. That's right. <laughs> all, all this, which we addressed before, we're just going to say it again, and maybe it'll change things. It's like you don't even really... Listen to the parts where I'm talking to you. You're just waiting for the parts that I narrated what you said, right? I'm trying to have an honest back and forth here, but it's like talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Something else is bothering me. Last week, nobody helped Obama in the voting. Like, it's no black sinners. No black sinners. I curse you. You will give me my phone call. I have earned it. I have paid you. You are a grifter. Yep, just the whole time, hardcore grifting out here. <laughs> uh, you earned it by paying me. Sure, I I'll agree with that. It's just one extra step you have to take, and that is to let me know what time. What time would you like to phone call? Go to the website and tell me, and then we can do it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, is it so hard to take an hour out of your day and give me my Skype call? No, it's not at all. I'd probably be at the computer regardless. Is it really that hard to take five minutes out of your day and schedule the goddamn thing? <laughs> uh, please and thank you. Too busy with you fake charities. Busy grifting your naive viewers. Don't donate to Red X. He will not help the Falipinos. <laughs> Falipinos. <laughs> Uh, just like he did not give me my call, he only cares about taking your money. I mean, we went out, we, we did the thing, I showed it on the stream, although I did have to pull that stream down because there was some kid without his pants on. <laughs> uh, but we had a great time, we got more donations on the stream, and so we decided to do even more stuff. Tomorrow we're going to take 80 uh, Itas to McDonald's. It's something that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise, and I think it's really nice. Again, we'll, we'll discuss it on the stream, I'm sure. And we've also got the, the video coming out for the 100 items that we fed. I've also got to get the Pag Pag video up. 
But you know, we are suffering for art over here, so I want to make it as good as it can be. That doesn't mean it's not coming, it's just I'm taking my time with it. That's fine. We definitely do use your money for good, at least when I specify. Otherwise, I feed it to my kids, they turn it into poop. <laughs> and, and we do help out Falapinos. <laughs> Often we don't even film it. I say with confidence that I'm a net force for good within my local community. Can you say the same? You probably could, but could you say it without lying? Ah! <laughs> she got your ass. Uh, you pretend to care about things while talking trash about the greatest YouTuber, Mr. Beast. Curse on you! <laughs> uh, Mr. Beast got some skeletons in his closet. I haven't really gone after him as, as hard as a lot of people have. Like, I understand he's just making a show. People are like, oh, he edited this out of context. It's like, yeah, so does every reality show you watch. The real problem that I have with him is who he chose to, to be his friend, to be around him for extended periods of time, who he kept around him even while working with children when he at least had a suspicion, I'm sure, of what that person was like. There's also like the fake lotteries and the chocolate bar stuff. I don't really pay attention. Really, it's just fun to rip on him. I'll rip on anybody, like... <laughs> I hope people rip on me. I hope we can all laugh about our inequities. So yeah, again, curse on me. <laughs> I don't know if you think it's working. Doesn't seem to be. Things are better than ever. Unbelievable how far you'd go to trash talk best YouTuber and then pretend like you will do charity. You will never do charity. I'm doing it every weekend as of last week. So that's two weekends, but it's a lot more than I've done before. And in some way, I have to thank Mr. Beast for motivating me to do that stream, get that money, be able to do the charity. I guess it's not truly charity on my part. <laughs> it's charity on the part of the, the viewers. But I'm ecstatic that they want to help the people out here. So many people come to the Philippines, lovely country, lovely people, and they just shit all over it. Make it a worse place overall. And I don't like that none too much. So yes, I do charity, I will continue to do it. You're just taking people's money and running off with it. You're a criminal. <laughs> uh, but sit right here. You can find me literally every day right here. Have I done criminal things in the past? Yes, sure. But I've reformed my ways. If I see a way to fuck the federal government, you better believe I'll bend them right over. But my own precious viewers? Nah, not in your life. They make it possible to do the goddamn thing that I enjoy doing so much. Uh... I will report you to the Federal Tradesman! Oh no, the Ombudsman is coming for you. <laughs> the Ombudsman's coming to get you. The full might of this great country will destroy you for fake charity! Yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> Even if it was fake, I don't understand what I'm being charged with, but if they did find the charge, Philippines don't extradite. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. You gonna have to come and get me, motherfucker. <laughs> I saw you put me in your stupid wrestling. I'm not a hot dog man. I'm a normal man. <laughs> what do you mean, normal man? We're just innocent men. <laughs> uh, yes, a normal man made of hot dogs. <laughs> Stop using memes on me as a weapon! But Hot Dog Man, you're our most susceptible target. <laughs> uh, I have to. It would be a disservice to everybody if I just stopped because you told me to. It's like this one time in high school, we knew a kid named Fat Mark, and he would always come and sit at the lunch table with us, even though people would basically rip on him relentlessly. Every day, he'd come over and show up like he was, you know, part of the group, one of our good buddies. He'd sit there and get shredded all day, every single day. <laughs> and he took it on the chin so well, just shrugged it off, was like, yeah, you, you got me, dude. Then eventually, it, 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 it wasn't fun anymore to make fun of Fat Mark. He was actually able to find his way into the group. But your overreaction to the, a, a phrase as simple as the hot dog man really illustrates everything that we need to know, doesn't it? You're letting people live in your head rent free. You're not choosing happiness. We're not mean because we dislike you. We're mean because we want to cure you in salt and <laughs> some smoke flavoring. <laughs> uh, like a hot dog. 
<laughs> I can feel the negativity of your toxic bully audience constantly. Not one single video does not mention me. Patently unfalse. I, I, I hardly talk about the hot dog man outside of, well, the, the hot dog man videos. And maybe one or two other videos per week. Probably a lot more around the time you and I started having this back and forth, but at this point I find it, I don't know, less amusing. <laughs> I don't bring it up as much. I'm like, okay, if he's gone, then he's gone, that's great. But as it turns out, yeah, he's not gone. <laughs> <laughs> I will flag down your channel with a vengeance. I will destroy your bully empire. I'm not a hot dog. I'm a person, you fool! <laughs> uh, I know. But what is a person, really, except a, a meat-filled tube similar to a hot dog? You know what I mean? What, what I'm really trying to do is humanize you. <laughs> uh, you invite my curses ordained by God! Uh, well, God leaves a lot of time for ordaining things that you do, doesn't he? Someone drew a red X on my store window twice this month. Dude, for real? <laughs> Lit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's there with me! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Um, I know you put him up to it, Brad. I know you're having me harassed. So you've doxed me to your fans. I put a curse on you, Brad. I paid a real psychic to do it. You will wither, Brad. You will wither. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel myself wasting away already. Why are your fans drawing on my windows, Red? Why are you harassing me? Why are your fans drawing on my window? I mean... <laughs> Maybe that's just your store being foreclosed upon. I don't think any red X icon is associated with my channel. There's like a very specific one. It's very stylized. If you don't see that one, then yeah, it's not me. Between a wife and family and full-time YouTube channel and a bunch of other projects, you think I got time to be like, hey, you you live near this guy? Go, go draw on his windows. <laughs> It'll really drive him nuts. <laughs> that's dumb. If it is at all related to my channel, then here's my theory. You handed out your little cards trying to get people to flag the video. They watched the video and learned what you actually think of them, and then they decide to take their vengeance. Unlike your supposed curses, which you paid a real psychic to do. <laughs> Hilarious. I, I haven't ordained any of this. It's just people fucking with you of your own accord, maybe because you're a gigantic asshole. Which is really the only message that we've been trying to get across to you this entire time, but again, you just refuse to hear. Why are your fans drawing on my window? <laughs> These are my window. You cannot have free real estate on my windows, Brad. I know you did it. 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 <laughs> okay. We're just trying to fill some space here, aren't we? <laughs> uh... When it comes to the hot dog man post, I don't really need help with that. I got something to say basically every other sentence because it's just so unhinged. You gotta kind of take it slowly. If I read this thing in its entirety without stopping, our heads would all explode. Too much big dumb in too little a time. <laughs> uh, don't deny it, Brad. I have alerted the police. Next time it happens, you will feel the full power of American justice. I'm an upright citizen of Trump country. What's that even mean? Just not from the coasts. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll rot in Guantanamo for this terrorism against my establishment, Brad. I know you will. You wait till Trump is president and then you're done. I actually got to talk to him, because I donated to him. I'm pretty sure they just used a voice recording, and he's like, Oh my god, President Trump, it's really you! <laughs> uh, what the hell are you talking about? You just donate to people and you get a private meeting? Was President Trump's more than $50? You got played for a sucker, just like anybody else who buys into the false dichotomy of politics. Wow, the soon-to-be president can give me calls, but you can't even meet your Patreon goal? 
I mean, obviously enough Patreon goals get met that the number of patrons still keeps growing, so I'll take it. I also really doubt that you're going to get a call from Trump, but if you do, please, I have some voice lines that I'd like him to read. <laughs> uh, give me my call, Brad! Uh, that's all this had to be! No, you have to escalate her. <laughs> uh, with sending people to Graffy Team I Store. Graffiti? That sounds like graphic tees, which you can get over on Fourth Wall. Cooked up a new one a day or two ago. We're cooking up some more. I hope you'll check it out. Do not escalator this situation, okay? Just <laughs> put the t-shirt in the cart. <laughs> uh, I am a genius businessman. Yeah. Like Ori Bogdan from r slash LinkedIn Lunatics, right? Do you have a LinkedIn hot dog man? I I'd like to follow you over there if that's okay. <laughs> I do not deserve this bullying from you audience. They do not appreciate their generous God King. I demand you apologize to Mr. Beast. Apologize to me for sending your bully audience to draw on my windows. <laughs> I didn't send anybody. I, I'm glad they did because I think that's hilarious. I will not be apologizing to you or Mr. Beast. I don't think I've stepped out of line. I've kept the gloves on for most of this thing. I've been nothing but generous and your audience is finding me and harassing me. Didn't you say that you're going to find and harass me in the last post? Now, yeah, the turntables. <laughs> He's like, I don't like it when it happens to me. Well, this is, this is karma showing you out, isn't it? Unfortunately, I didn't start it, so I can't stop it. Also, stop trying to give my wife advice in your videos. You gotta apologize for that, too. <laughs> my wife is my property. <laughs> Bippity, boppity. Women are property. Uh, and you're not allowed to talk at her. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, awesome. How much a piece of property like that cost you? <laughs> uh, you talk to me, not my wife. She, she's happy. Stop attacking my marriage. You wouldn't like it if I did the same. Honestly, if you came after my wife, she would probably come after you twice as hard as I do. <laughs> uh, she's even more mean than me, okay? Don't get me wrong, she's a total sweetheart. Love her to death is my wife, but yeah, you don't want to get on her bad side. <laughs> uh, you think you better than me. You can't even open Skype to call me. Stupidity! Give me my God-promised phone call. Stop grifting with your merch and your fake charity. Well, we already plugged both of those things, but I'll plug it again. Check out the fourth wall, hey. <laughs> Somebody bought a body pillow, and it just fe it feels so good to know that that's a real thing now. That's out there floating in the world. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry for grifting, but I can't help it. <laughs> um, Red Eggs will never deliver on promise to help Falapinos. <laughs> you can't even spell it right. I, I let you have the first one, but he spelled it wrong again. He doesn't care about them. He only cares about taking your money. Where the evidence helped anyone? That's the neat part. I don't really need evidence. You want me to walk around my city g and get testimonials from people? <laughs> the balut guy, I give 100 pesos every time I see him. Like, okay, you gotta tell everybody that I did it into the camera because the hot dog man said so. No, sometimes you can just do some nice shit and don't have to record it. As far as the recent videos and helping out the Aitas over in Chupapaya, I think that's what it's called. The little town or something. Farnham called a beard village. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we do want to record those things because, well, the audience contributed for it. Like I said before, I, I think I'm way more of a positive influence in my community than you are in yours. Now, is that the measure of what makes a good man or not? Doesn't matter to me. It feels good, so I do it. I'm going to continue doing it. No testimonials from the Falapinos are needed here. <laughs> Uh, you slander the good name of Mr. Beast and Shadman, but you do the same. <laughs> You're defending Shadman now? <laughs> uh, trust me, dude. I don't know if you know everything about that guy, but that's not a hill you want to die on, all right? Again, I I'm just trying to help you out. 
You're trying to make fake charity. You cannot just say you help people and not help. That's cultural approximation. And you <laughs> and you are in the wrong side of history. <laughs> Uh, I don't care how history remembers me, okay? I had a positive influence on the people that I know and interact with now. Cultural approximation be damned. Didn't that die out anyway? Didn't we all collectively decide that sharing cultures is a good thing? I mean, sure, you can overdo it, grift on it, and make money, but I haven't done that at all. I've talked about and shared my experiences. And I don't plan to stop doing so. You're just jealous you don't cool enough. <laughs> stop talking crap about Mr. Beast. Is that who you're going to bully next? <laughs> uh, I would, dude. Send people to draw red eggs on Mr. Beast windows? Is that your plan? I know it's your audience drawing on my store windows, Brad. You and your audience. No more! Wait, hold on, wait. Me and my audience? You legitimately think I flew 7,000 miles to come draw on your stupid store? I don't know a fucking thing about you! <laughs> Nor do I care to, at this point. As far as being cool, well, that's never really been my goal. But I can see that it's yours. You wanted me to sign off and say, Wow, that was, that was radical, all that stuff you did to those kids. They definitely deserve it for trying to come into your store and give you money. <laughs> Don't they know you're a brilliant businessman? <laughs> uh, you're so invested in how other people view you that you're simply left with no time to focus on self-betterment. And that is why you are the way that you are. Also, maybe touch a mental illness considering the thing that he brings up next. I've spent many nights sleeping in my store, waiting for the next person to come and draw the X. I see the cars parked outside with the X's in the license plate. I know it's you who makes them. That's probably where your charity money goes. You give people license plates with X in the number. Show me your license plate receipts. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Uh, it's a, like a, a gang stalking thing that you're theorizing about? We're drawing some really weird lines here. This is becoming more and more unhinged. Just so you know. I mean, we all know, but I, I really wish I could drive that point home to you. I have one license plate receipt. It's for my car in the Philippines. Probably got the car that's left in the States too, but I, I don't think it runs no more after eight years. That's just $200 a scrap. This is a stand your ground state. The next time someone draw on my window, they will be shot. I will defend my castle from your vandalators. Vandalators? <laughs> <laughs> the Vandaliers. I know it's you. There are people in my store talking about hot dog men again. I know it's you sending people. I hate to say it, dude, but you've done all this to yourself, sharing the video. The thing that you hate more than anything else and you told everybody else to go watch it. It might not even be related to the videos. It might just be the original group. And the meme has only continued to spread at whatever card shop they migrated to. You don't need to pull a weapon out on people talking about hot dog men or people with X in their license plate. Even the, the vandal of your store windows, yeah, you probably just have a little talking to or something, you know? Let the courts sort it out. That really isn't the sort of thing that you should give somebody two in the chest over, you know? He doesn't know. Something real bad's gonna happen with this, I think. It's just getting more and more deranged. I'm less and less sure it's a troll. Perhaps I should wind things back a little bit, but I don't know. Not really my style. <laughs> we are where we are. We just have to work from here. I know you're trying to bring me down. I see the people laughing at me. They're your stupid audience. I, I know they are. I've banned 20 people from my store this month. <laughs> More of those brilliant businessman tactics, right? I keep banning your puppets, your grift subjects. I know what you're doing. You can't get one over on me. I'll prove it was you. Then I'll sue you. I'll take all your money. <laughs> Is that how that works? You're more than welcome to open a lawsuit in the Philippines, but uh, I think you're going to have a tough time with it. <laughs> uh, 
you would have to prove this beyond a reasonable doubt. And even me caught in the middle of it still has reasonable doubts that this has anything to do with me. Anyway, a curse upon you, Brad! <laughs> I am the god king of all! You cannot intimidate me with your bully audience! I will be the end of all! I commend you to tell your audience to stop riding on my windows! You think you can bring me down with lifeless virgins and, and red markers? I will not be miserated! <laughs> what is miserated? What if I come to draw on your windows? No, I'll come come on your windows! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, you nasty ass bastard! That's nasty, man! <laughs> uh, if you could shoot it past the gate, I guess. <laughs> Uh, then what will you do? How would you like it if I sent people to where you live? I think you've already threatened me with that before. Really, the only thing that I noticed is, is my trash cans being tipped over, but I'm pretty sure that's a dog, and also we shred all our important documents anyways. Crosscut, not the single strip bullshit. <laughs> Good luck putting that one back together. If you are sending people, they're not leaving much of an impression. Either that, or I'm just like super in my own head all the time. I don't really notice things in the world around me. But my wife would definitely notice. She's super observant. And she's not told me anything, so I don't know. I will have people tell your whole town that you're a PDF file. Then we'll see what happens. Yeah, people will be like, what proof is there? <laughs> oh, none? Okay, moving on. You were my favorite content creator! Aw, oh, I'm sorry, dude. You're probably not the only person that's been hurt by me either. Sometimes I say stuff that's just a little bit too close to home for this person or that person. But the usual response is to just take it on the chin and be like, yeah, it's just jokes, okay. And then we can move forward amicably. But you, like a little bit of prodding and your head spun off. <laughs> Uh, we can't put it back on now, it seems. All you've done is bullying me for upload great stories. You could not just read them right. You had to bully me and now this is where we are. I mean, the bullying was half of the equation. The other half of the equation was you letting your ego get in the way, decide that you're above any and all criticism. It takes two to tango, as they say. I will come to the Philippines and bully you! <laughs> you think you're better than me? I can go to Philippines too! I will get my interaction with you! Like I said, you, you probably won't make it up the mountain, one. And two, you're not gonna make it past the gate. I'm not gonna run out of the house like fucking Boogie with a pistol and shoot it off in the air. I'll just call my brothers and their cops and they'll come and take you away. <laughs> it's pretty easy. If that is the interaction that you want to have, I don't know, come on through. And then he says this weird thing again. Even if I have to come and come on your windows, I will do it! <laughs> uh, is that like a, a thing for you? Just some sort of proclivity? Oh, my generosity. And you send people to harass me IRL. Wasn't me, dude. I still got questions about the window thing. Do you have like a big glass table in the living room? or? <laughs> Uh, I keep your family fed, which makes them my family too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just like at Olive Garden. If you give us money, then we're family now. But also don't stay for more than an hour or two or we will kick you out. <laughs> uh, then you send people to harass me. Send people into my store to laugh at me. I will not have this bread. I am a god. And you will pay. You will give me my phone call. Have I suffered enough to get my Skype call? Stuck and harassed by your fans? Now you will give me my phone call. Give me my call, give me my call, give me my call! I, I, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm principal now. Even if you sign up on the calendar plate, no, I'd still do it. If I'm not gonna do it, then I'll block you from Patreon and refund your money. But I like having the extra 50 bucks a month, like I said. Small price to pay, and we get content out of it? Dude, we're winning twice. How can you turn down a deal like that? I can't, I'm only human. But if you really do want the call, legitimately, get on the link, make the appointment. I'm definitely gonna record the whole thing, okay? <laughs> I cannot believe I believed in someone. You're just like my parents. 
constant mocking. I looked up to you like father figure. All you did was bully me like my real dad. I just wanted to be your friend. Are you seriously going for the sympathy vote after all the threats and bragging and all this stuff? <laughs> uh, I don't give a shit about your parents. You probably did some dumb shit and they set boundaries and again, you, you flew off the handle. You can't send me to my room. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a good card to play. On, on some people it works, but on me, I don't give a shit. Now you're having me harassed, just like my real dad too. I have a mental illness, and you're bullying a mentally ill person. I mean, <laughs> I guess we can agree on that point. Although, doesn't ill imply that someone is seeking treatment? Like, if you know you're ill and you're not seeking any treatment, then you're just sick, right? And yeah, hot dog man, I, I do think that you're pretty sick. Does that mean sick people are off limits? No, comedy's the great equalizer. You still think we're in 2016 where you can say, oh, I have depression and get away with everything. I don't care how sick you are. I'm going to take you to task for your actions. I am the victim here. And you all laugh at me and draw on my windows. You come into my shops because an internet man told you to. What if I end myself? Then it would all be on you and your fans. I'll do it. You'll be responsible for a murder. Your hate campaign made me take my own life. You take my money and don't even give me my rewards. You send people to harass me. You call me the fucking hot dog man even though I told you no. No means no, Brad. <laughs> yes, I know that. And if it was a situation that you couldn't possibly escape from, then I'd have a lot of sympathy for you. But the truth is, you could cancel your pledge, walk away from this asshole community, never think of us again, and go on living your life. But for some reason, for some reason, <laughs> you won't. You don't. Part of me sort of starts to think that you like the attention, maybe, you know? He's got a proclivity for degradation, that's why he puts on his little mesh half-shirt, lets his beer gut hang out and walk around town. He sees people look at him all disgusted, and he's like, Yeah, I'm such a pig, aren't I? Lock me up and make me squeal. I'm, I'm a bad little piggy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, maybe that's too far. I regret saying it. I can't believe I looked up to you like a father figure. Ew, dude. Since the beginning of my channel, I, I've said I can't tell you how to live your life, nor would I ever. I can only truly state what I like and dislike. Some people still fly off the fucking handle about it, but my opinions aren't going to change, and also I'll, I'll never be your father figure. I'm a ghost. I only exist for you on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> You're like an absent father, too busy for their children. You abandoned a, a supportive son. <laughs> Why won't you be my internet daddy? <laughs> Ew, dude. Ew! Uh, if you could never say that again, I would be so grateful. I don't want to be your daddy, even through the internet. Your real life daddy doesn't even want you. And it can't possibly be that the problem is with everybody else. Maybe it's time to, to sit down and take a good look in the mirror. What are some things that people find repulsive about me that I might like to change about myself? It's not up to me to spoon feed you self-betterment, okay? The best I can do is a YouTube video every day. And however much self-betterment it contains may vary, depending on my actual mood in real life. <laughs> Maybe you just hate the mentally ill. Is that it? You hate me for being mentally ill. Yeah, again, I've got an entire community of people, some of whom do suffer from mental illness of some sort. And they would say that I'm actually treating them with more equality than most people by holding them up to a certain standard, by not presuming that they're incapable of controlling themselves and less than just because they're mentally ill. I believe in their self-betterment more than you do. And I would definitely put money on it. You just hate me for being mentally. I've been kicked out of a lot of places, but I never thought you would. But your bully Reddit army keeps flagging my accounts. You send people to laugh at me. Still no call. I cry as I write this. Oh, I don't like to hear that. Didn't mean to actually make you cry, man. 
It's good that you're able to wear your emotions on your sleeve, but... Uh, can we not at least consider some self-betterment? Hear some of the things that people are saying, regardless of whether they call you the hot dog man or not, and, and see if there's any truth in it. If there's not, feel free to disregard it, but in a lot of these comments that I see regarding you, I, I think there is. If you could put your ego aside and sort the insult from the more constructive criticism, then I think you could grow as a person. But the truth is that you don't want to. You want to lay there and get away with everything, and then when it comes to shit in your lap, you're just like, Oh, I, I'm mentally ill, that's why! You can't criticize me now! Yes, I can. <laughs> I will. You've intruded into my space, made yourself a public spectacle, and so we've all decided to have a good laugh. It happens from time to time. Crying is good. Crying can lead to some self-reflection. But if you're just going to sit there and cry and not change anything afterwards, then yeah, those, those tears are useless to me. But I hope those brain chemicals are swirling around and, you know, fundamentally changing your personality. Wouldn't that be a miracle? You abandon your fans! How do you even have a YouTube? You should be kicked off! Why are you telling people to stug and bullying me? Calling me the hot dog man? I looked up to you! I looked up to you! I looked up to you! All you did was laugh at me! Call my works of art trash! Mock me on live streams! Mr. Beast never mocked me and you attack him! <laughs> uh, Mr. Beast doesn't know who you are. That's kind of the advantage of being just like a, a small-time YouTuber, you know? We can really get down in the nitty-gritty, and that means I don't abandon my fans. I interact with them more than most YouTubers my size. I enjoy the community. I think we got one of the best communities on the internet. And that's because they're a bunch of fucking savages, but savages with hearts, you know? <laughs> savages that know how to take a joke and laugh it off, even if it applies to them directly. That's who I am, as a person, and so that's the sort of people that are attracted to the channel and decide to stick around. I'm sorry that you're not one of them at this point. That doesn't mean you couldn't be, but it's gonna take a lot of, you know, inner work. Anyway, yeah, I should totally be attacked for... You bullying the mentally ill! That's against YouTube's amendments! <laughs> it's the second time you've mentioned those, and I don't think they exist. You've given me the perfect way to flag down your channel. Your days on the internet are numbered, Brad. You cannot bully the mentally ill. It does say something about that in, like, the community guidelines. It's under harassment, but I don't think there's been any harassment. Go through all the videos, go through all the Discord messages I sent, and, and point out where I told anybody to, to go and make your life worse. I haven't. I've tried to make your life better, if only you could open your heart and listen to the words that I say. But yeah, isn't it interesting how we've twisted from like, I have a mental illness and my parents were mean, right back into, I'm, I'm gonna tear your whole channel down. <laughs> oh my god. Just pick a fucking lane, would ya? When your YouTube channel goes down, then I'll come to where you are. I'll pay you a vest. We will have our conversation. This, I promise, is a vengeful god. I'm only gonna open the gate if you wear a hot dog suit. You have to walk up the whole hill in a hot dog suit. <laughs> uh, give me my call within two weeks of this post or it's all going down. Another two week deadline. Is this the second or, or third time that you've done that? He doesn't seem really able to keep a schedule. So far, the most that he's done is get one video demonetized. That's it. <laughs> one video. <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh, I've made this threat before. I know. I hoped you'd have a change of heart. I won't. I told you not to read my last post. I did. I let it go. Not anymore. If I don't receive my phone call within two weeks, I'll bring your channel down. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> I'll release your private documents. I'll have all your stalkers and graffitis arrested. I will ban anyone from my store who even says the word hot dog. I will stop what you have started. I didn't start any of this. You're the one who kicked it off, friend. People are simply seeing it for what it is, buddy. You can change it at any time, pal. I know you won't. Ego gets in the way. 
I'm not above the possibility that it's my ego that's getting in the way, and that's why I haven't had a change of heart and feel like I need to die on this hill. But then I sit down, I really unpack it, and I'm like, no, I think I am right about this. <laughs> I'm going to double down. You could have just called me and read my stories normal. I've collected information on several of your YouTube supporters and Patreons. Uh, all of it will be released if, if I don't get my call. I'll not be stuck in the rest any more. Playtime over. This is now serious. Yeah, it was serious before, but now it's super for real serious. <laughs> A curse upon you, Brad. A curse. <laughs> it's many curses. You will live to see all your supporters leave in fear of me. You will see your fake charity exposed. <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. It might be a nightmare if I thought that anybody would leave or if I was doing fake charity. But as it is, I'm just sitting here like, yeah, release the dot. I'm interested to see what you have. <laughs> uh, I am a vengeful god. Ready to poo-poo on your life. <laughs> uh, no, you. You will apologize now. You will give me my call. Or I will assault your internet persona for 40 days and 40 nights. You will starve in fallop no gutter. <laughs> uh, I've seen that shit happen a time or two. It's sad. But don't you worry about me. Even if the YouTube channel imploded tomorrow, I got backups. You see, because th this entire channel is actually built upon a set of skills, marketable skills that other people would pay for. I've made my money not necessarily through, you know, any in actual innate skill, but practicing skills, applying them consistently. And that's more than can be said for people who made their money cleaning out their grandfather's colostomy bag. <laughs> Uh, not to punch below the belt or anything, but come on. That's why you hung your hat on this thing so hard. You know, we could have had a, a, a beautiful working relationship. You pay me for like a sponsorship spot or something like that. But that's not the way that you decide to do it. You're like, here's a bunch of stories about me being an asshole. So I ripped on you for being an asshole. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's so hard to understand. I don't know why it's spiraled into all of this. But I will say that even if you succeed in your mission, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm coming back with Red X2 the day after. <laughs> Here we go again. Either that or I go get some copywriting bullshit job. Whatever. I will bring it all crumbling down. Press X to doubt. Now my bluffing. No more hoping you will act good to me. Oh, see, Freudian slip, Freudian slip. <laughs> I think you're supposed to say no more bluffing, <laughs> but instead he says now my bluffing. <laughs> Uh, oh, that is rich. That is creamy and delicious. <laughs> my generosity is not enough to get your attention. Then I'll show you my vengeance in full force. Give me my phone call, Brad. You, you give me my fucking phone call. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do it. Just on principle, I'm not going to do it. No, but seriously, I'll do it. But only if you click the link and sign up. It's appointment based these days. What do you want me to wait on Skype for you to log on? Who uses Skype anymore? <laughs> Even if you do it, it will not stop me reporting you to YouTube for your fake charity. Oh, see? You're still gonna keep this chip on your shoulder even after you have the stupid phone call, so what's even the point? Listen to your inane rambling for an hour with essentially no upside whatsoever. <laughs> There's no reason to do it. Except to provide more content for the people. I already have someone to write email for me to YouTube. I hope they'll demonetize you. I hope they delete your channel. I will not stop there. I will contact Patreon as well. Tell him you're making money from bullying a mentally ill sewer sliding man. That's what you're doing to me, Brad. Clearly you want me to end myself. I won't give you the pleasure. I think you're far too in love with yourself to ever consider that. Don't try and bait me, friend. He saw the regret that I had after the end of the Chris Trucker saga is what happened. I was like, God, maybe I should have been nicer to this guy. But the truth is, at the time I was bullying him, he was a piece of shit. 
Who, who was to say that he would actually get his life turned around? Once the changes start happening, that's the point where I'll apologize and be like, you know what? I had you read wrong. But I definitely don't think that I've read the hot dog man wrong, to be clear. Two weeks, Brad! That's what you have! Two damn weeks! Yeah, give that other two weeks that I had, and then the other two weeks, that's like a month and a half that I got, okay? <laughs> I want to cash it all in now. Warn your little doctors that I am armed! I'm waiting for them to van dilate my shop again. <laughs> van dilate? What the hell are you talking about?! Uh, it's like when you stick a van inside, never mind. <laughs> or maybe you don't care about your little stalkers. Maybe you want one of them to get ended for content. Jesus, that, that's really dark. I guess you do make a valid point, at least in this. And I will say now, hey guys, out there, if you're, if you're drawing on the hot dog man's windows, let's not do it, please. It's not worth catching chewing the chest over, all right? There. Now everything's fixed, and now we can be friends again, can't we, Hot Dog Man? I have been meaning to make time to catch up with you. I really relish what we have together. <laughs> uh, you'll do it so you can grift off them like you grifted off the floods in the Philippines. Is that what you want? Blood for your channel? <laughs> uh, no, I really don't. The floods of the Philippines, yeah, it was a tragic thing, but I also saw it as an opportunity to do some good. And I am sorry that you missed that stream, but I hope you watch the video when it comes out. That's why you bully a mentally ill man like me, isn't it? Sending people to draw on my windows and laugh at me just to get blood for your channel? Do you think all this is funny? To bully the mentally ill? I've been nice to you. You've pushed me too far. Dude, I've, I've been nice to you too. Like I said, the gloves have not come off. Did you not know anything about your favorite YouTuber? Did you not suspect even for a second that your story might get shredded to pieces? I guess with an ego like that, yeah, you really don't. <laughs> like, he's gonna love it. It's gonna be the best thing ever. What you didn't realize is that hate is fun for me. I love to hate on most things. It's the funniest thing in the world for me. <laughs> uh, these red X's on my windows will not be forgiven. Your stalkers will be cursed. A curse upon all of Red X audience. <laughs> like I said, a lot of curses. The curse shall live until I get my call. You're a bad father if you treat your kids like you treat me. Well, I don't, and there's a good reason for that. You're not my fucking kid. <laughs> I deserve better than what you did to me. You don't know what you did to me, Brad. My wife cheated on me and ran off. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What a twist! Uh, didn't you just say she's happy and your marriage is good or something? <laughs> uh, wow, what a, what a twist! All because I left her alone while sitting in my shop waiting for your stalkers! I don't know where she is! That's on you, Brad! My life's crumbling and you won't even give me a call! Give me my fucking call! Okay, well, but, but please schedule it <laughs> like I asked you to do. That would be awesome. As far as the wife thing goes, like, yeah, saw that coming. <laughs> Maybe if you took some of the advice that I gave and, and treated your wife like a human being, then she'd be happier with you. Honestly, I love that for her. I hope she took a bunch of your money too before she took off. She deserves it. Pain, heartache, suffering, etc. She earned that money. You are her colostomy bag, hot dog man. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. As far as all the empty threats go, yeah. Uh, again, not scared. I look forward to seeing what's coming in, in the next couple of weeks. If my channel does go kablooey, I mean, I'll probably be a little bit upset, shocked, surprised, but also proud of you, hot dog man, for accomplishing something. You set your mind to it, and you did it. Now, if only you could commit to being a, a decent person, then we might be cooking with some gas. <laughs> I don't know that it's ever going to happen, though. I look forward to uh, the response in the next post, and thank you guys so much for watching this one. Uh, sign up on the Patreon, the YouTube memberships, if you haven't yet. I promise the hot dog man's not going to come after you. I haven't heard anything about anybody getting any papers, okay? 
And on top of that, I really would appreciate your support, and it would make this lunatic even more mad, so <laughs> you should do it. Also, uh, consider buying something from the fourth wall. Lots of nice t-shirts, sweaters, pillows, mugs. I think we even got a notebook over there. It's crazy the sort of stuff they offer, so I hope you partake if you can afford it. If not, I mean, don't sweat it. You watched the video this far. What else can I ask except... That you remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one, so until then, uh, bye bye bye